All right, welcome back. This is gonna be another fun video. I'm super excited for this one. This is gonna be a very assembly heavy video. We're gonna try and get a lot of the stuff in the interior of the car. Here is just some of the hardware I got laid out. And then we have boxes with more stuff, more boxes, more boxes over there. And then there's stuff in the back room. But yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that needs to go in the car and this will be really fun and exciting. So here we go. All right, so I want to get the ducks that go on the car right here. They came out really nice from paint, but before we do that, there are the actual like rubber vents that go in and they're super nasty. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up first and then we will get those on and then we can get the actual vents on the car. All right, I got these bad boys cleaned up. Let's go ahead and get them on the car. Okay, so I got the vent in there on, and then I don't know if we can do this, but underneath the car here, uh, yeah, you can kind of see that. Underneath the car here, I got all of the clips and plugs in. I did that to both sides. Both sides have that vent, and both sides have all the clips in. So we're gonna go underneath the car. Oh, and I also did like, there's like body plugs and stuff that go in the front here. I got those all in there too, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, uh, it's looking good. All right, so interior assembly will be up next. Um, obviously there's a bit of an order that some of this stuff has to go in. First, uh, I think first we're gonna do is get the seals in. But in order to get the seals in, we got to put in, there's drain plugs that go right here for the target top. They're on both sides, but we'll get those in. And then the drain tube comes around and inside and down into there. So I will clean up these holes and get those in. All right, I got the new molding on. It's on both sides. Uh, we're looking really good. The molding does have this little like plastic. I don't know if we can focus. Jeez. There's like a little plastic film on it to protect it. I'm gonna leave that on for now. Uh, but yeah, so there is a box that the owner included with all brand new seals. So I will go through this and pick up the seal that I need and then we'll get that on. All right, so for the back seal on the back side of the roof, we got this guy right here. It uh, has a bunch of butyl tape on from the factory. So I'll go ahead and peel these off and get it on. All right, we got the brand new seal on. Just wanted to show inside here. There's these little plates that go right here. Uh, I got the drain tube going. Uh, this is the squirter tube for the rear hatch. I got that in, got the front tubes in. We are looking pretty good. Now I just got to put uh, the seal on right here. All right, this seal is on. Now I got to get the, uh, the target wind deflector in here and that'll hold the front down, so. All right, here is the wind deflector for the target. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that in. All right, I cleaned up the wind deflector and got it in. It's looking pretty good. All right, so getting to the trunk here, I have my camera stand holding up the trunk right now. So I'm gonna have to do this off camera, but here is one of the shocks. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in. As you can see, it does have a gasket. I don't know if we can focus. All right, we're not able to focus. All right, there we go. There is a gasket there, so I'm gonna get this guy mounted right in those holes and then mounts right there and then I'll catch you guys up in a second. All right, the shocks are on. It's looking really good. It is designed to have a wing on the, the hatch. So there's usually more weight that pushes it down. So they're a little stiff right now, but that's all right. 
Uh, next we'll get the latch mechanism on and the actual mechanism part that goes right here on. So let's do that. Okay, so before I get that in, I almost forgot this little guy right here has to clip up inside of there. So I'm going to quick clean this up and get uh, some new foam on it. All right, that is now in. Unfortunately, that was a lot harder than it looks, but it's in. I cut myself pretty good, but we keep moving forward. All right, the car is starting to come together. Next thing we'll be getting the actual body harness in. Um, this will probably be pretty difficult to do, so I don't know how many actual shots or footage I'll be able to get. But yeah, here we go. All right, I started getting the body harness laid in. I got the HVAC unit in. There's three gold bolts up top and then three silver bolts on the bottom that hold in the HVAC. So yeah, just slowly plugging away. I'll get the harness squared away here a little bit more in the corners, and then I will go ahead and put the actual dash bar in. So, cool. All right, so before the dash bar goes in, there is this little connecting support piece that has to go in first. That guy slides in right here. I'll get that bolted in, and then we can get the dash bar in. All right, so I got a lot of this wiring and stuff in. My body's getting pretty sore from crawling around. But yeah, I got, uh, there's a ground over there, right there I got it in and got that whole fuse box tucked away. Got the braces in for the body, both sides. Um, there's like a bolt that goes here and then there's a nut in there. Got that tucked away. Uh, fuse boxes are in though. Um, there's a ground right here. I got that in. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then that little guy's bolted in. Got the cables run really good. Uh, comes down here. This is for the seat stuff. Over to this side, got these braces in for the body. Got the switches in for the door latches. Um, running it all the way back through here and into the trunk. Got all that stuff tucked away. Got obviously the um latch cable all tucked away too where it's supposed to be 
The other side is ran too. Got this one down there for the seat. Brace. Same thing. Got that latch cable tucked in. Uh, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. So, cool. Let's get going on getting the pedals in, I guess, now. All right, here is the hardware for the brake pedal. Here is the brake pedal assembly. So, let's go ahead and get that in. All right, this was too difficult to film while I was putting it in. Here's the top of the pedal. There's two bolts right there. There is four nuts that go on the inside of it. And then there's another nut that goes on top of the support bar. This just helps add more rigidity to everything. The pin goes through right here. And then there is the spring. So it's looking good. And then I went ahead and plugged it in. Cool. All right, next is this little switch right here for the pedal that goes right in there so i'll get that in, in a second i'll show you guys all right i got that switch in and i got it hooked up already all right here is the gas pedal and here is the hardware for that so let's throw that in now all right there is the top of the pedal got that in and there's the bottom cool the um abs and traction control unit and that goes right here, this way. All right, and then and there is this little bracket right here. All right, here is a, I think this is a G4 sensor for the ABS. That guy mounts right here. Okay, here is a simple little bracket that goes right here. Um, it was rusted, so I sandblasted and painted it real quick. All right, here is the e-brake cable. We'll go ahead and slide that in. All right, now with uh, that e-brake cable there, we can go ahead and mount this. This is the airbag ECU. that uses some pretty fancy torque bit bolts. Okay, so here is the box for the cruise control that mounts up right here. So I will quick get that mounted up. All right, got that bolted up and the plug is in, cool. Okay, so I got the rear headliner in, it just clips in, and then there's these side clips right here that hold it in. Got those on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the front now. Uh, I got the Targar stuff on. So that's like an alignment tool thing, and then the hardware. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the front thrown up there. All right, got the top headliner on. They're looking good, the visors are on. Uh, cool. Let's go ahead and get the dash in now. That's really exciting. All right, so the dash is in. That's always a tricky thing and a little scary thing to do by yourself, but nothing happened, so that's good. Um, start, go ahead and like plugging all the stuff in. Like these plugs go in right there. And then I'll start getting the bolts in. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's a quick look at the hardware that goes in for the dash. So I'm gonna start getting the stuff on. Okay, so I got this guy bolted down. There's obviously some wire management stuff that needs to be done, but a lot of this stuff plugs into like the actual dash pieces that come in. Um, Next, I will go ahead and get the steering column in because that's where like these wires and stuff attach to. So here we go. Here's the hardware for the steering column. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in. Okay, so we're looking pretty good here with the steering column in before we keep going too much farther on the dash and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and now get the doors assembled. All right, here are brand new moldings for the door. So I'm going to get those on first.
Okay, so the door glass is in. I am going to just sit here for a while and adjust it and get it to a spot that I really, really like. Um, so the adjustment points are the actual bracket right here. You can loosen those up and it, it plays around. And then you have a pitch adjuster. This adjusts when it's closed, like how much of the window is tilting in or out. And then you have your height adjustments. So I will just keep playing around with this until I get it to a point that I really like. Um, because we have new seals, it probably doesn't need to be in so much. So I'll just keep playing with it and then I will update you guys in a second. So I take this bracket off and then all I do is turn this guy quite a few times and that'll change the pitch of the window at the top. All right, I think I got it to a place that I really like. Got the height really good, and I re-angled it so it, so it hits a little bit sooner on the top here, and then when you shut it, it tucks up in there nice. Cool. Got to do the same to the other side, but let's finish getting this door together now. All right, this door is fully assembled. The owner has different speakers he's gonna put in when he gets the car, so I didn't put those in. But yeah, let's go ahead and get the other door assembled. Here we go. And just like that, this door is now put together. Looking really good. Uh, yeah, cool. I will start getting the seatbelts installed now, and we'll go from there. All right, here is the rear bumper. We gotta start putting some stuff on that. Like the owner has a backup camera and the um, license plate light. So I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll get that on because it's super dirty. All right, so this guy is coming out pretty nicely. I'm just using this plastic cleaner from Nexit. Um, for the lenses, you can see the difference here. I'm using the Plastex from Meguiar's. Is it as good as new? Probably not, but I think it looks really good. So I'm going to do this one now and we'll start putting this back together. All right, there we are. It's all cleaned up. It looks a lot better. Let's get it done. All right, the gas tank is in. Now we need to put the cover on.
All right, the fuel tank cover is on. Looks good. All right, these are these little plates that go on the firewall. Here's the hardware for them. The AC lines or the heater lines. So like right here, but obviously they look kind of gross. So I'm gonna quick uh, paint these up and we'll put them on. All right, these are now done. I will go ahead and throw them on the car. Cool. All right, got the plates in. There's the heater and the AC line. Cool, looks good. All right, here is the latches. They're pretty nasty, so I'll quick clean them up. This is what the hardware looks like. Got these uh, self-locking little nuts. So yeah, I'll clean these up and show you guys in a second. All right, this guy is cleaned up, We're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the car. All right, the latches are in, looking good. All right, here is the front windshield wiper motor. I'll get this cleaned up in a second. Here is the hardware and the clips that we're gonna throw in. So, here we go. All right, so I have this like rubber gasket maker stuff. So I just made new gaskets for these clips and we'll go ahead and get them on the car now. All right, got the clips on, looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get the motor in now. All right, the motor's in, looking good. I'm not putting the cowl on yet because we gotta plug this in, and that'll be a little bit later. All right, taillights are in, they look really good. I uh, probably will hit them with a buff or something when the car's done. Yeah, moving forward now. Okay, so fender's off. I got the fenders off both sides. I adjusted the doors so they're up a little bit higher just because there's a lot of weight in them now. So they were sitting at just a little low. I'm gonna go ahead now and throw these braces on right here and then we'll keep going. Okay, so here is the cluster. It looks really good. It's got that nice TRD tag. Uh, this is from Stu Hagen. Uh, anyway, the lenses are a little nasty. Um, let's see if I can get some light here. You kind of see how nasty they are. So I'm just gonna give them a polish quick and then we'll get in the car. Jarvis, open the mask. 